are Labrador Retrievers hypoallergenic. Labrador Retrievers are one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, known for their friendly personalities, intelligence, and loyalty. However, for people with allergies, owning a Labrador Retriever may not be possible due to the potential for allergic reactions. In this video, we'll explore whether Labrador Retrievers are hypoallergenic and what this means for allergy sufferers. First, it's important to understand what hypoallergenic means. The term hypoallergenic refers to something that is unlikely to cause an allergic reaction. In the context of dogs, a hypoallergenic breed is one that produces fewer allergens than other breeds, making them a better choice for people with allergies. However, it's important to note that there is no such thing as a completely hypoallergenic dog, as all dogs produce some level of allergens. When it comes to Labrador Retrievers, they are not considered a hypoallergenic breed. Labrador Retrievers have a thick, dense coat that sheds throughout the year. While shedding itself is not an allergen, the dander, saliva, and urine that can stick to the coat can cause allergies and asthma symptoms in some people. Additionally, Labrador Retrievers produce a protein called KNF1 in their saliva and dander, which can trigger allergic reactions in some people. This protein is also found in the saliva and dander of other dog breeds, so it's not unique to Labrador Retrievers. However, despite not being hypoallergenic, some people with allergies are able to live comfortably with a Labrador Retriever. This is because allergies and asthma symptoms can vary in severity from person to person, and some people may be less sensitive to the allergens produced by Labrador Retrievers. If you are considering getting a Labrador Retriever but have allergies, there are steps you can take to reduce your risk of an allergic reaction. One way to minimize exposure to allergens is to groom your dog regularly. This can help to remove loose hair, dander, and saliva from their coat, reducing the amount of allergens in your home. It's also important to vacuum your home frequently, as this can help to remove allergens from your carpets and furniture. Another option is to consider a crossbreed that includes Labrador Retriever genetics. For example, the Labradoodle is a cross between a Labrador Retriever and a Poodle. Poodles are a breed that is often recommended for people with allergies because they produce less ander than other breeds. Labradoodles can inherit this hypoallergenic trait from their Poodle parent, making them a better choice for people with allergies. In conclusion, while Labrador Retrievers are not considered hypoallergenic, they can still make great pets for some people with allergies. It's important to remember that every individual is different, and what works for one person may not work for another. If you have allergies and are considering getting a dog, it's important to spend time with the breed you are interested in to see how you react to them, and to take steps to minimize your exposure to allergens.